Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of New Horizons. In the last episode, we got our two new squirrel villagers to move in. We'll probably have another one move in tomorrow, but I think that'll be happening in my free time, so it'll be kind of a bit of a surprise later on for you guys. While I was waiting for the last video to finish processing, I came out here and actually just shot down this present. So I kind of, oops, want to know what's within it. So let's take a look. Terry cloth do rag, just what I never wanted. I also got these fences. I don't know where I want to put them yet, but we'll figure it out eventually. And at the very end of last episode, Tom Nook actually told us that he was now offering a customization workshop. So we should go ahead and go do that. That seems like the next thing we need to do. We're getting so many good villagers so far. I'm just, well, the first two were bad, but after that, we've been getting some good villagers. Speaking of which, here's Filbert. He's definitely staying. I'm not so sure about Peanut yet. But she's good. We'll, we'll let her stay for a while until we get, like, full of good villagers. Then maybe we'll let her cycle through. Yay, are you out for a walk? Uh, what's the latest? I love long walks. They keep your feet entertained. Well, alright, I guess they do. I need to build another bridge. One that will lead us, like, over here. Especially because that means Ryder can put his house down where he wants. I don't know when we're gonna be able to record that episode. I usually record while he's at work, and he, uh doesn't have many days off of work so at least not lately he used to have two days off but now they're just like no one day off a week is fine mm. which i guess is kind of convenient because paired with uh this and being stuck at home because of the whole plague situation is what is meaning i'm getting so many videos recorded for you guys so yeah i'll probably try to plop down another bridge in this episode as well just so whenever he does record with us he can put his house where he wants <laughs> All right, looks like we got some dialogue here, of course. Adamo, hello, hello. As you might have heard on today's broadcast, I'm now offering a new workshop on customization. I think you'll find DIY even more fun when you master the skill. I do hope you take me up on this opportunity. I plan to. Real quick before I forget though, we are gonna have a look at this because of course it swaps out every day what it has and it gives us bonus miles, which I will take because we're a little low right now because we just picked up the hair. Okay, the book. The book works. That's wizardy. We will take it. Thank you. That's what we just got from the present. Like, so thrilled. <laughs> that's the vibe. That's, that's part of the vibe. We need it right now. We can't get it right now, but I'm going to save up for it and we are going to get it. A thousand. We need to get to a thousand today. That's the goal. But first, let's go ahead and do that customization workshop. Actually, we just, we just got more points. Please give them to me. Okay, it's because we bought something off there. Very good. All right, well, we're already there. Let's get that, please. I don't really want to put the white ones down because I don't feel like they'll fit as much with what I'm wanting. But if we can just make some of these and put those around, that, that'll do. I like it, let's redeem it. I love this system, it's just so good, just so good. And I, I especially like that they have some that make it easier to get them, even though it gives you less. Just especially if they're gonna have stuff swapping out daily. <laughs> All right, now let's do that workshop, please. Need to remember to check the actual store too. I can't remember if I already said that, but. Oh, I forgot we have a ceremony too. We should probably do that, huh? It's for the store. Oh, you want to take part in the ceremony, Adamo? Right now we'd like to celebrate the completion of Nook's Cranny. Interested? I sure am. <laughs> Splendid. Let's get started. So much to do today now all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, <you're> so cute. <laughs> Now then, welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Evergloam's brand new Nook's Cranny. So cute, so wholesome. I don't know, I'm still so torn about Peanut. I like her a lot, we might keep her. <laughs> Thank you. Evergloam truly started out as a deserted island. There simply wasn't much here, but now, it's slowly beginning to develop. It really is. <laughs> Thanks to the tireless efforts of, well, everyone really. Mostly me. I'd like to ask Timmy and Tommy to say a few words as representatives of the new Nook's Cranny. Timmy, Tommy, if you would, please. Thank you, Evergloam. Because of you, we've opened a proper shop. My brother and I will work hard to make it the best shop, and I hope we can count on your business. So wholesome. So wholesome. <laughs> yes, yes, thank you both. Next, a few words from someone who made many valuable contributions towards seeing Nook's Cranny built. Of course, I mean Adamo, our resident representative. Anything to add? We're amazing! Yay! <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Adamo. Everyone, 
Please get ready to join me in bringing this ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I guess I can. Well then, with hope for continued growth and to celebrate Everglow's beautiful nooks cranny, hooray! So cute. I love it. <laughs> it's just so happy. Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home. Actually, I guess we should go ahead and stop by the shop now that we're here. Oh, no, we're back here. But Filbert wants us. So much is happening. Hey, Adamo. Thanks for coming over to say hi. It's real cool that I made a new friend the same day that I moved. Oh. So, um, I brought a present for you today. This makes us officially licensed friends now. Oh. He's so adorable. He looks so fuzzy, too. They all look so fuzzy. A bamboo stool. I made it back on my last island. Aw. It's the best one I've ever made. No sharp edges, no bad smells, and weighs what it's supposed to. That's great. I can't wait to have lots of nap times around here. Maybe the whole island could nap all at once. Together. <laughs> I'd, it'd be like nighttime, but it's some other weirder time. Like, um, man, any time is weird for this idea. <laughs> a, a little bit there, Filbert. A little bit. <laughs> Alright, now let's learn how to customize stuff before I get distracted by something else. About that workshop. <sighs> Ready to dip your toes into the delightful waters of customization, Adamo? Not when you phrase it like that. <laughs> I don't want anything involving my toes to happen, but I'd love to. Yes, yes, that's the spirit. Let's get started. I love that it shifts. It, do it doesn't mean to shift, but it shifts, so. <laughs> I believe a brief explanation about customization is in order. Honestly, it's incredibly simple. First, you'll need the item you want to customize, along with the required number of customization kits. Oh, okay. Then you'll customize your item at a workbench. The design or color will change in the blink of an eye. I do believe you'll find this easier to understand once you try it yourself, so let's get started. Your goal for this session is to make a wooden wardrobe and then do some customizing wardrobes that, that could be wizardy that that could all right all right the wardrobe you'll make as well as closets chests and other items that store clothing are quite useful you can use them to easily change into any clothes you have stored in your home storage so that's cool you could use your custom colored wooden wardrobe to put on your own fashion show the freedom of expression is just the sort of thing we enjoy here on everglow hmm? oops you're going to need that diy recipe for it first let me just send that over now i'm excited I imagine it'll probably be a little bit more modern-y than what I'm going for, but that's fine. It'll work for now. <laughs> so come see me after you get a wooden wardrobe, hmm? Alright, hopefully we have the supplies for that. We might not. <sighs> there it is. It's a little bit modern-y. We're short on two pieces of wood, really. Ah. Let's go get it, I guess. Wait, we don't have an axe. <laughs> Going back in. We're just gonna make a flimsy one for now. That's fine. I don't want to accidentally cut down any more trees, okay? It will do. If the other ones also break, it's just no big deal, okay? I think we just needed a little bit of regular wood, but I'll, I'll go ahead and collect some more. That plot says it's sold. We definitely have someone moving in soon. I'm excited. Oh, that's a weird bug. I, I gotta catch it. I gotta catch it. Get out your thing. He's walking instead. The freaking drift. Okay, I should still be able to... Shake the tree and get him to come out. Get it! What even is that? Yes, I caught a bagworm. Guess I'm a bragworm. But I can't carry it. Oh no. <laughs> Stop it! I guess we don't need two snails. Sorry, snail. I forgot to put him in my house. I didn't see what he looked like. But oh, the flowers that I planted have bloomed. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna buy more of these flowers whenever I see them. That that's that's part of the vibe. That 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 could work. Looks like they are spreading as well, which is good. It did rain, so they did get watered. I, I need inventory room. Let's run to the house real quick and set the snail down. We should also probably put our little skull radio down. I didn't even show you guys the inside. I showed y'all a screenshot at least. That's that's not it. That one. Very weird. And let's put our snail down. Uh, this one's just in a basic little tank, but some of them have unique things and it's really cool. Well, this one is unique. It's different, but not exactly how I was hoping it would look. Oh, what's this? A present. Oh, it's from Filbert. I was like, what is that? It's our bamboo stool. That's kind of cute. Kind of more of a zen vibe than a wizard vibe, but you know, maybe we could find a spot for it outside. Okay, we should be able to make that wardrobe now. All right, there we go. One piece of wood to spare. Ugh. It runs out fast. <laughs> I made a wooden wardrobe. All done for now then. Let's talk to Nook again. Ah, Damo, hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? 
Um, all years. Oh, weren't, weren't we doing a workshop, man? Oh, Adamo, you've got your wooden wardrobe. There we go. I think that means it's time for you to customize it. I'll give you the customization kits. You'll need it in a moment. For now, please step up to the workbench. Very good. Mm, looks like you're ready now with your wooden wardrobe. I think that means it's time for you to customize it. We've already been over this. First, Adamo, I'll give you some customization kits. All right. Mm-hmm. Next, pull out your wooden wardrobe and try customizing it. Okay. <laughs> oh, I kind of want um either dark wood or black. I'm kind of thinking like the dark wood or the blue. I'm thinking the dark though. All right. Oh, we have 50 of those. He, he was so generous. Thank you. Yeah, that's... Probably fine. Hopefully I don't regret that. <laughs> I doubt we'll be keeping it around forever. Anyways, oh, we're painting. That's so cute. I customized a wooden wardrobe. Yes, yes. Masterfully done. As you've just seen, customizing items is quite easy when you have a customization kit and a workbench. You can't take the- or you can take the extras from today as my gift to you. Use them in your future customization projects, hmm? As a graduate of my workshop, you'll now be able to buy any kits you need from the shop. Now for the most part, you can customize furniture or other items you've made as DIY projects. However, some of the mass market furniture items sold in the shop can also withstand some customization. Ooh. Exciting. For example, you might be able to change an item's fabric or add a custom design to it. Figuring out what you can customize and how you can customize it can be a lot of fun. And this concludes my workshop on customization. I hope you enjoy putting on a fashion show in your home using your custom wooden wardrobe. Now, take a break. Hmm? I do believe you've earned it. All right, we'll just go on a little shopping trip then, shall we? Got to see what they have in the store today. Oh, wait, we got the little money pit over here. Oh, wait. Dang it. Just put it, put it in your money pouch. You don't need inventory room for this. I guess we'll sell stuff. Wait. That works too. I'll, I'll plant a money tree. Sure. What's the hot item today? A wooden chair. So specific. All right, not seeing a whole lot off the bat. <laughs> Let's go ahead and sell some stuff though. Sell all of that stuff. 6,700 bells, pretty good. See, we have a good amount of money. We might be able to expand our house soon, but. I'm like, should we move it first? I don't know when we're going to unlock the ability to move things. White Hyun synth bag. I don't know what that is, but we will buy it and we will plant it just to see. We'll take five of them, why not? We need more flowers around, you know? Okay, so customization kits are 600. That's not too bad. Wildest Dreams DIY. Sure. I don't know what's in it, but I kind of want to just be able to make whatever I want whenever I want. So <laughs> let's go for it. That's a lot of money, but it'll be fine. All right, I think that's it. Let's see what that gave us though. I'm intrigued. Oh, we have more Nook Miles, of course, <laughs> which is good because we are pretty much out. Wooden fish. Weird. <gasps> I like the little oven. That's kind of cute. Aww. A plain sink, iron wall lamp, ironwood kitchenette. Intriguing. A hearth, all right. Okay, some of that might work, it might. We also need to learn that fence one still. Should probably go ahead and do that. But yeah, I'm not really feeling any of that stuff today. We already have the campfire thing anyway, so. Oh, our pear trees grew too, yay. Hopefully our money tree will grow, that'll be nice. I already caught that bug. I see that bug, I have caught it. It gets dark so early on here, like it's still pretty light outside right now, but very dark here. Let's place that down. And we could actually make our mirror match it. I think that was a good choice because it matches the floor. It's, it's pretty dark in here, but... Wait, I could customize my tools? What? Dark wood's not usually my favorite and things, but I, I feel like this it's fitting. It's fitting for what I want. So there we go. Now, hold on. What was that I saw about the tools? Oh! Oh, that's kind of cute. Kind of a waste since they break, but cute nonetheless. Place that down. Now, do we have anything we want to put in storage? Right, this flooring. I knew there was something. Oh, we need to plant our flowers. That's right. I guess we'll put those in storage too. We need a craft bag like an ESO. <laughs> that would be nice. Now, where do we want to plant these flowers? I planted like a few um, near the entrance. There's some right there as well, as you can see, but like how cute that is. I love it. Maybe we should go plant some by Filbert's house. That would be nice. We're just being nice for our good new friend here. Hopefully these flowers look pretty because I don't know exactly what they look like. But there we go. 
at least one there, maybe like one over here. Maybe we'll just set one here for Peanut as well. Or maybe two, why not? We might just kind of set one near a random tree or near the shop maybe. I just want more flowers to generally be around. We'll start like lining paths with them and whatnot later. But we could like maybe set one like right here that could look cute. Does that go there? It does not, it goes right there. It's a little awkward, but it's fine. We should talk to some of our villagers around. We already talked to Filbert, but we should maybe try to talk to Peanut and the original too. I should look up how you move villagers in because if I could move Hamlet in and get rid of like Sylvia, that'd be great. Because Pierce scares me, but at least he amuses me. Sylvia's just boring. Boring and ugly. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to do amiibo cards with the villagers. Apparently, if you have a campsite, you can invite them, but... So far, this guide, at least, says that it hasn't been successful. Can you not? Because, like, I need Hamlet. Okay, you have to invite them several times before they will. Okay, that's fine. We'll get there eventually, then. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't missing out on an opportunity to get Hamlet now. I'm trying to avoid- Oh, he's just sitting there. He, he really is just doing it, huh? No, don't walk away. I forgot we were gonna talk to Peanut. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid looking at like guides and like spoilers and all of that too much, but I just keep getting too curious, you know? I can't help myself. <laughs> oh, right, she's still moving in. Why was I thinking that she had lived here for a day? We time traveled so that we could see her. I just confused her too, whoops. <laughs> okay, let's go talk to the other two then. I wanna try to make sure we talk to everyone each day. I don't think I've been doing that each time, but usually. <gasps> oh God, the tarantula. Y'all wanna see what it looks like to die. Did I scare it off? Oh, it's over there. Oh, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Uh, it ran away from me one time. And that time too. Apparently, maybe after you catch it, it like gets scared of you. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. But me and my friend, we were both jumped, so. It does happen. And it happens a lot. But apparently not after you catch them. Maybe. I'm not sure how that works. <laughs> Oh, Pierce is building stuff. Oh, there's that scary little wrestler thing I gave to him. Glad to see he at least likes it. Is he building himself furniture? This is amazing. I'm cooking. I'm tearing up. Hey, Damo, perfect timing. Come take a look, Hawkeye. What's that? You're not gonna believe it. I made a wild log bench. I was out chugging the other day and somewhere around the 53rd mile, inspiration just hit me. Or it could have been dehydration. Either way, check it out and stay hydrated. Building it was like a hard workout routine. And you know I'm all about sharing my routines. So what do you say? You wanna get built making yourself a wild log bench? Yeah, teach me. I didn't know you could do this. This is so cool. Well, I could, or I could give you this paper that I wrote the recipe on. I vote for the paper. Easy enough, I don't mind. Either way. As long as you can read my handwriting, you've got this. That's so cool, they teach you so many things. Like, I, I know Sylvia taught us the umbrella, but I wasn't expecting like full on benches and whatnot. So good. I may honestly work on putting some fences around now that we have that ability whenever I'm not recording. I feel like a lot of the tedious stuff like that I'll probably try to do off camera. <gasps> Oh my god. Hello, you are calling me Sahara, for it is the name I have carried for so long as I have carried these rugs. Yes, indeed. I bring these rugs from my home, which is far, to help you decorate your home, which is near. I have small rugs, large rugs, and rugs of the medium space between. The design is seen after the buying. I have also mysterious flooring and wallpaper. Oh, how surprising you will find it. Are you ready to buy? I don't know how much it costs, but a rug could be cool. Yes, a rug for your purchasing. What size shall the rug of yours- Well, oh, I think I read that weird. <laughs> Let's go with a medium rug, please. I hope I don't regret this. Ah, my favorite size. Now please, I will accept the money payment. She, she just talks weird, I see. I may have also misread her though. I, I don't know. <laughs> when customer smiles, my heart and purse grow one size bigger. I have exchange tickets as bonus for a good soul who buys good rugs. If you save up five tickets, you can trade for mysterious wallpaper or mysterious flooring. Ooh. You bought a medium rug, so that means two tickets are yours now. Well, alright. I hope you will buy again. May the tickets tempt you. You know, I, I kind of don't want them in my inventory, so sure. Let's buy a... Uh, oh, we can just buy that. Would a big rug give us three more tickets? She said we needed five, and I wouldn't mind getting a wallpaper. We have some good flooring already, but... I'm spending so much money, but I'm experienced in the game, and that's all that matters. I want to know what this is all about. <laughs> I usually do not buy from Sahara, but 
Oh, you know. All right, we should be able to exchange our tickets now for that wallpaper, yes. Now, are you wanting your mysterious wallpaper or equally mysterious flooring? I sure do. Do we even get to choose? Oh, yep, yep, we do, we do, good. Mysterious wallpaper, please. In that case, five of the exchange tickets I will take from you now. There you go, I do not want them in my inventory, so have at it. You will want more after this, yes. Using one will make you excited for another one, and so on. I hope you will buy again. May the tickets tempt you. Great, thanks. All right, let's still go talk to Sylvia, then we'll place this down. What? Oh, it's, it's Harvey, is that his name? I don't remember your name, I'm sorry. Harvey, yeah. Hey, yeah, we're getting so many people wandering around. Hey, you live on this island? Thought so. I'm from like, the next island over. My name's Harvey. Glad to meet you, friend. You can call me Harv if you want. Does that? <laughs> Is the fade part just what to say? <laughs> Sorry, got a bit sidetracked there. I came here for a reason. Give me a minute and I'll remember why. Got it. I keep hearing about this island and how much folks dig the scene here. So I thought I'd check it out. I'm gonna start this far out artist collective and I'm looking for ideas. So what's the deal? I heard that this place was deserted, like literally a deserted island. You, the honcho that put this place at the head of the class? Wait, this old noodle just had a casserole of an idea. You should visit my island. Oh, just hit the airport and tell them you want to go to Harv's Island. That's the name of my pad. Groovy, right? Anyway, nice job with you. I'm gonna stroll around and see what makes Everglone tick. We should do that. Uh, we still we still got a little bit of time in the episode. There's there's Sylvia too, so we can talk to her real quick. What's up, boing? Where are you headed? Let's talk. This island's got tons of foods I've never heard of. I'm trying to come up with meals for as many as I can. You've never heard of apples, all right. I want to look at these real quick. Then we'll go to Harv's Island. Now, I usually like to leave the lights off, but I guess for this we will turn them on. It's it's kind of cozy. Server room wall. That's the opposite of wizardy, and I'm actually offended. We're putting our starry wallpaper straight back up there. Literally very, very simple, but you know. Figure it fit the vibe better until we get something more permanent. Now, red wavy rug. Let's spread that out. Absolutely terrible. All right. Oh, it's not terrible. It's just not the vibe. And red rose rug. That, that might be more like it. Not really, but we spent the money. I'm going to leave it out for now. All right. Let's go to Harv's Island. See, like, just look at Sylvia. Like, that That ain't cute. Not a fan. I don't even know if we can go here yet when Harvey's still here, but we're gonna do it anyway. We're, we're gonna try it. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, 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 welcome to your one and only gateway to the skies. We've talked to him before. We, we, we're not gonna read all of that. <laughs> I wanna visit Harv's Island. Huh? Harv's Island? Where could... Oh, I know. You're talking about that island Harvey lives on. Roger that, good buddy. I can set you up right now, but are you ready? All packed and stuff? Actually, I'm good, because I might might collect some resources from there. Hold on. I'm gonna sell some stuff. I just wasted so much money. <laughs> well, I guess like 400 bells, but... Because we are technically using the other ones, and the wallpaper was free after we bought the others. But still, that's why I don't buy from Sahara a whole lot. <laughs> and I'll just go ahead and put some things in storage. I should have done that while it was already here. I always press that button instead. Alright, now we're going. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what this is all about. Hopefully we can get some resources while we're there too. Oh, oh I see a cute little cabin. All right, all right. I see a few trees that maybe we can gather from, but... <laughs> oh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> Looks like it has it all conveniently blocked off so that all we can do is actually talk to Harvey. But this is so cute. Look at this. I love it. Let's see what he has to say. Hey there, Adamo. Good to see you again so soon. I mean, I was on the same flight as you over here, so it's good to see you so soon again after seeing you. Wait, that was today that we talked, right? I didn't just sleep the whole time since then. Anyway, welcome to Harv's Island. Don't remember if I mentioned it before, but I run a photo studio here. Oh, it's called Photopia, because it's like paradise for picture taking, and it's free to all, so come use it anytime. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't know if we really want to mess with that right now, but nice to know that that's an option. We'll go ahead and look inside at least. Oh, he's following. Kind of figured he would. <laughs> so, you digging the Photopia vibe? Pretty groovy, right? It's like my home away from home, you know? Well, 
more like my home than it is my home. But hey, since you're here, let's capture the moment on film, huh? If you've got any questions about the studio, I'm all ears. Well, mostly ears. Some nose too. Uh, tell me more, why not? Really? That's great. Okay, you've come to the right dog. Yes, sirree. Alright, there's basically three things to worry about with pictures. The set, models, and wardrobe. In other words, arrange your space, gather up the folks you want in the picture, and give them costumes. Once you master those three, taking the actual pictures is easy. At least here in Photopia. You want to hear more details about... Um... Mm, this sounds like a lot of work. I think I already know how to take pictures like... Yeah, I, I assume it's the same way. <laughs> I think, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. If you're all set, I'm gonna go freshen up my hair. Come grab me outside if you need anything. Well, that's weird. I think this is actually where I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode. I think we've been recording about long enough. I'm definitely dead from all the talking. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave it a like. Maybe consider supporting my coffee or Patreon if you want to help support the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.